What software do I use to make free videos today in 2020? Are there any such programs at all and will there be enough free functionality to edit decent videos for YouTube, social networks and even commercial projects? Hi everyone, my name is Roman and you're watching the Mobavi Vlog, your go-to channel for creating cool videos. And today I have prepared a very useful top list for those who don't have a video editing program yet. I will tell you about three absolutely free programs in which you can make cool videos. They are Shotcut, Olive and DaVinci Resolve. And when I say free, I mean absolutely free. No watermarks, no sign in and receive our spam, no registrations, no trial versions and other nonsense absolutely free programs. But will the free software be enough to make cool videos and then why even buy software for video? To find out, watch this episode to the end, there are tons of useful information ahead. But first, please like this video and hit the subscription button in order not to forget to do it on the way. Well, if you have pressed all the buttons, let's go! The first program on my list is called Shotcut. It is easy to find on the web and there are free versions for Windows, Mac and Linux. The main feature of Shotcut is it's a completely free open source app with no ads, no watermarks, even without donates or paid premium version. How did this happen? It's a mystery to me, but let's see what the catch is. There's gotta be one. Let's take a look at the interface. It's, well, not so comprehensible. In fact, it's not a really complicated program, but it's a little in its own way. The interface and its logic are different from all the editing programs I've ever worked with. So get ready to watch a couple of video lessons before you start editing with Shotcut. When you figure out what the buttons do, you'll see that Shotcut has almost everything for basic video editing. There's a project library. It's convenient to review the material for a future video beforehand. Everything is displayed in the central preview window. And here is the timeline. Lots and lots of buttons. In general, the design of the program is not the most user-friendly I've ever seen. But after several hours editing, you'll get used to it. The most important thing is that all the key features are at hand. You can cut clips, snap them to each other, arrange as you want. You can do the same with audio clips, which by the way are nicely displayed with waveforms. I especially like the way the crossfades work in this program. Nice and easy. It also works with video clips. You can create additional tracks for video and audio on the timeline. It means you can edit clips from several cameras, add cutaways and additional images within a frame and combine background music with the original sound of the video and audio effects. Some time ago, Shotcut introduced keyframes and animation as a sign of a semi-professional program. Huge progress! But here's what's strange. All effects and tools for video and sound processing are called filters by the authors and placed in this tab. And there's not much interesting here. Mostly basic tools like picture-in-picture, -picture, blur and old-fashioned filters. There's a chroma key though, and it works, I checked. There's a quite a good color correction tool. It offers three wheels to tweak dark, medium and light tones, which gives a lot of possibilities. And the algorithm itself works very well. I was surprised. But in general, there is nothing in the filters that can distinguish Shotcut from other programs. There are absolutely no awesome up-to-date transitions, titles, built-in collection of pictures, not to mention intros. In fact, this is one of the main disadvantages of all free programs. Usually they mean nothing but the program itself. No cool transitions, no filters, no titles, no animation presets. Unlike the Movavi video editor, where I often edit videos for YouTube. Dozens of ready-to-use moving titles in different styles, built-in collections of effects and transitions, object animation templates. All of these are already in the basic version. And you can also install additional collections that are updated every month. There's a free trial version of the program. In 7 days you can test all the functionality. If you like it, in the description I will leave a promo code for the program that gives a 15% discount. Use it! And now let me continue on my list. Number 2 on my list is a program called Olive. It's also a free program that will fit almost any operating system. 
It's easy to find online and download. While you're downloading, the developers hint that you can support their project on Patreon. Olive is a newcomer to the world of video editors. It has been known since 2018 and so far it is an alpha version. Some of the features still lag, but in general you can do a lot in this program. Earlier I said about Shotcut, it's unlikely that a basic level user would understand it at first sight. Well, Olive is even less user friendly in my opinion. To understand the interface and the workflow, you need to know the basic principles of the most popular video editing software. These principles are not always obvious to beginners. But if you are an experienced user and you don't want to spend extra money for the Adobe Premiere subscription, it will be easy for you. By the way, both the interface and the functionality of Olive strongly remind Premiere. To start a project, you need to create a sequence first. Now you can do the editing. The process of assembling clips and cutting them is quite convenient. When you move a clip up, a new track is automatically created. There are no limits. You can do as many video and audio tracks as you want and create complex projects. However, for some unknown reason, the common track control panel in Olive is absent. You can't mute individual tracks or turn on the solo mode. This is awfully uncomfortable and discourages any desire to make complex multi-track projects. But let's talk about the advantages. You can change the speed of the video and even play it backward. You can even delete a gap between the clips and they will automatically snap so that there are no gaps. But you can also move it manually if you wish. If you put a clip overlapping with the next one, the last one will be automatically trimmed. Many other programs apply crossfade or cross dissolve in this case. Speaking of transitions, in Olive you can only apply crossfades. This is the complete menu of transitions. It's either a hard cut or that. Not much to say about titles. You won't find any ready-made styles or presets with animated captions here. And that's fair to all the free programs on my list. But the upside is, titles have a lot of settings. You can change the font, size, position, angle, color, as well as add shadow and set the opacity. And what about the effects? First, they need to be found in this program. I did it for you, here they are, don't thank me. Secondly, there aren't many of them. The program offers only basic effects like blur and other common picture and color distortions. I looked at all the effects and I liked only two. Chromatic aberration and this crazy thing. Please tell me in the comments you like it. Oh yeah, there's a chroma key in here. It works fine, nothing special. Let me not forget the color correction tool. It's okay, but too basic to me, I guess. The cool thing about Olive is that it has keyframes. That is a huge achievement for a free program like this. Unlike Shotcut, here you can animate not only the position and size of clips and titles, but almost any setting. For example, you can do something like this. I hate to say this, but keyframes sometimes lag. It happened several times while I was recording this review. In general, Olive, to me, has two main advantages. The keyframes, which allow you to set both animation and smooth change of almost any setting, and the nest tool, which helps you to unite entire clips into groups and then apply effects and animation to an entire group simultaneously. Finally, the third program on my list is DaVinci Resolve. You will find it in two versions of DaVinci Resolve and DaVinci Resolve Studio. The first one is free. The second is paid and, in addition to standard functionality, has the ability to work with 3D video, plugins, HDR grading and additional effects. Both are good for Windows, Mac and Linux. You just have to complete a short form and sign in. The first time you launch the editor, you will see a window with the Create Project tab. The interface may be confusing first, but in fact, everything is quite clear. At the bottom, there are tabs dividing the workspace into categories. Media import, cut area, timeline, color correction, sound editing and export options. The free version already has a set of video effects, but again, nothing special. Opacity, zooming, changing the frame position, crop, chroma key. 
There is also a set of ready-made transitions, but again, nothing unusual. It gets more interesting with captions. There are some nice lower thirds, for instance. All the settings for titles you can find in a user-friendly window with standard parameters such as size, position, color, etc. In general, DaVinci is a quite a powerful program that can really compete with semi-professional editors. There are also features that can automate and speed up your work, but you can only appreciate them if you edit complex projects on a daily basis. And you can also find some special features for, for example, multimedia editing, keyframing and animation, audio mixing, curving, audio effects and many more. But the kill feature of the program is color correction. The level is so cool that even professional video makers appreciate it. All because of this working area with dozens of settings, allowing you to control color parameters and achieve the desired result. Curves, maths, selection by colors and even key points. This was a review of the free best video editing programs in 2020, using which you can edit your videos for free. So is it worth using paid programs? In my opinion, all the three have two main disadvantages. First of all, I would not call any of the free user-friendly and intuitive for a beginner video maker. Uh, their learning curves are quite tricky and can easily kill the passion of a newbie quite fast. Even I had to watch a couple of video tutorials to figure out how they work. For example, in Movavi Video Editor everything is clear at once and no how-tos are necessary. At the same time, for an advanced video maker, their features are not always enough. Maybe except for DaVinci Resolve. Secondly, they have almost no built-in content. Titles, transitions, effects, footage, pictures, animation presets. All of this has to be looked up elsewhere and not always the content will be compatible with the programs. But there is one main advantage that's hard to argue. They're free. Thank you for watching this video to the end. I hope my list of free software for video editing was useful for you. And if it was, please give this video a thumbs up. My name is Roman, this is the Mobile Vlog, your go-to channel for creating cool videos. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss the new episodes. I'll see you soon.